example 5.10 a solenoid has a core of a material with relative permeability 400 the windings of the solenoid are insulated from the core and carry a current of 2 ampere if the number of turns is 1000 per meter calculate h m b and the additional magnetizing current i m here add the word additional clear now see here relative permeability that is given to you for the sample that is mu r equal to 400 number of turns per meter that is 1000 and current flowing through the solenoid that is 2 ampere so first, H, H that is magnetic intensity. Magnetic intensity H that is equal to N into I. N is 1000, I that is 2. So 2000 ampere per meter. Then after M, that is the magnetization. Magnetization that is chi H and 1 plus chi that is mu R. So, chi that is mu r minus 1. So, here substitute chi that is mu r minus 1. Mu r is given to you 400 minus 1. H that is 2000. Now, when you solve this one, you will get the answer nearly equal to 8 into 10 raised to 5 ampere per meter. Okay. Then after the magnetic field, so resultant magnetic field B that is mu R mu 0 H. Mu R that is 400 mu 0 that is 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 and H that is 2000. When you solve this one, your answer will be 1. Clear up to this one? Now see the last question, additional magnetizing current means here see due to the sample placed inside the solenoid with relative permeability mu r, the resultant magnetic field B obtained that is one Tesla. Now the fourth question, D question is like this, if this particular sample is not placed inside the solenoid and then also you want the resultant magnetic field one Tesla, then how much additional current that you have to pass through the solenoid? Now inside the solenoid, the field that is given by mu zero n into I. Now we want the field that is this resultant one. So with this current I, we will not get this one. So how much additional current that we have to pass through it? Suppose additional magnetizing current I m that we have to pass through the solenoid to get this particular resultant magnetic field one Tesla. Now our equation turns to B equal to mu zero n I plus I m. So B that is 1. Mu 0, that is 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7. N 1000, I that is 2, and I M that we have to calculate. Now, if you solve this one, then your I M, that will be large current, that will be of the order of approximately very close to 800 ampere. Clear to all of you.